very, very important. Yeah? And in this part of the idea of you know, opening your birthday gift, I guess the main question to ask is, are we allowing that from our self-advocate and their families to open their birthday gift? Because they all have a gift. Different gifts, they all have a gift. And allowing them to shine that, that light and make a difference. Something for us to think about. Continuing my story, so I come to the hotel, I meet my colleague, I meet my colleague and, and I ask, uh, he asked, what's wrong with you, Azim? Because he could see pain in my face. And I said to Aziz, that, look, that if I had to die for one cause, I would die for this cause. I said it without actually thinking too much. And I went to my room at night. I couldn't sleep at night. I said, I died. Big deal. How did I help them? Nothing. So what do I do in my life that can help them? And I realized that this is the career I want to change from accounting for business to accounting for life. And I set myself a vision of three things. My first vision was to raise at least $40 million for causes like this. Okay, and, and uh, because I realized that these people need money. I mean, they don't have food, they don't have anything. So they're not ready for philosophies. They need the basic stuff first. So I set a target in 10 years, I will raise, I will help raise, not raise personally, I will help raise $40 million at least. Second uh, objective I set myself was that I will inspire at least 5.7 million people to open their birthday gift, shine their light and make a difference. And why I chose 5.7 million is because at that time, in 1997, there were 5.7 billion people in the world, so I just took a fraction. <laughs> and the third goal I set for myself, that in 10 years, I'll be one of the top 10 inspirational speakers in the world, because then my message will be heard. Otherwise, nobody is going to listen to me. So I've got to be successful so people will listen to what I have to say, because my message is about giving. Just give. Power of giving, right? But for me to get this message across, I have to be successful. So I set these three goals for myself, okay? And then, of course, I came back to Vancouver, and I met my wife, and I told her I'm changing my career. She says, why did I allow you to go to Karachi in the first place? <laughs> anyway, the message on this point I want to share is the third letter, W, having a winning attitude. What I found out that when I was an accountant, I couldn't aim high. I couldn't aim high because I was not using my birthday gift. I was a lousy scientist. I failed all my exams in Cambridge in grade 12. I was a good accountant. I got the best result in the history of the college in accounting in England. But what I'm doing today, I'm far better than I was an accountant. So when I found my gift, I aimed much higher, not lower. And I believe when you aim higher, you reach higher. I'll give you an example. My son, Tofik, is 30. I coach him in, football, in soccer. Okay? So one day I was coaching my son in soccer. And I said, Tofik, pass the ball. So he's passing the ball on the chest. I said, no, 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 no. Pass the ball higher on the head, because if you pass the ball on the chest, the defender will save it. So rise it higher. So he passes the ball on the chest. I said, two feet, head. <laughs> passes the ball on the chest. I said, two feet, keep your eyes up on the head. Chest. The more I try it, the more he hits on the chest. I give up. I said, forget it. Let, we'll try it again next time. Next day, I go to his soccer practice. His coach is making him do the same thing that I was making him do. But his coach is making him hit the ball on the fence, which is 20 times higher. So I'm sitting in the car and said, how is Tofi going to hit the ball 20 times higher when he can't hit the ball here? So I'm watching him in the car and I'm smiling. So the ball comes to Tofi, he puts the ball down, he looks at me in the car because we were playing this game yesterday, he goes back and he hits the ball. And he hits the ball, if this is the fence 20 times higher, just right at the top. Not completely top, but near the top. Not once, not twice, three times. I was blown away. I couldn't make him hit the ball here. Am I a bad coach or what? What do you think happened? What do you think happened? Yeah, if you aim low, you reach low. He was aiming here, reaching here. When he was aiming 20 times higher, he was not reaching the top, but almost the top. Unfortunately, most people in life aim too low. We have so much gifts. We have so much power. But we aim low, so our whole body reacts low. So I think the winning attitude comes when you aim high allows you to tap into your genius. The question for you is, are you aiming high enough in your personal life, in your professional life? To continue my story, I come back, I try to convince my wife, my business partner. It was lukewarm, lukewarm, but eventually I convinced them. 